Um, the one near uh, the patient's head. Okay, so what are you doing there? Placing an eye gel uh, airway device. And what is an eye gel air airway device and what does it do? Uh, I place that in their mouth, it goes near the glottic opening to their trachea. It means you can use that BVM, that bag I was talking about, to breathe for them and uh, ventilate them. And why is that important to what you're doing? It's, it's a part of securing their airway to make sure liquid or fluid or vomit or anything doesn't end up in their lungs and also helps us deliver oxygen and, and uh, ventilate effectively. And at this point, I assume that you're doing this because he's not breathing. Yes. Okay. Meaning no res respirations are happening for him, so you're trying to use your equipment to do that. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, so did you ultimately, um, well, let's move to exhibit 64. which has already been admitted. Yes. So were you ultimately able to place that airway? Yes. Um, and is this in Exhibit 64, is that part of the process that you're working on that, with respect to Mr. Floyd's head and face mouth area? Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. And, um, and your partner, what's he doing at that point in time? Uh, he is working on getting IV access. And you talked a little bit about IV access before, but what was the purpose of getting IV access in this, um, for his treatment, for Mr. Floyd's treatment? To administer medications. And what were the medications that were administered to Mr. Floyd? Uh, all of them that we would have given. Well, what have... I don't know if, this, if it's a long list, but what were your primary, what was the primary purpose? What were you yeah. trying to give him? Yeah, epinephrine is a, like a first line uh, medication when somebody's in cardiac arrest. Okay, so did you give him epinephrine? Yes. And, and why is that when you say it's a first line for cardiac arrest? What does it do? Um, helps to restart their heart. Okay.